several of my friends in, in different countries actually asked me the same question. How could, when they were studying the survival time of seriously ill patients, how could they disentangle the effect of the treatment, of the various features of the patients and so forth? And I thought of a way of doing that, although to develop, uh, I was a mathematician essentially, to develop the theory of what I'd done took three or four years. And then I published this in an academic statistical journal. And rather to my surprise, lots of people found it useful. And I'm very happy indeed of, uh, at that, of course, and delighted to receive this prize. And in particular to share it with Brad Ephraim, who's, who's done such spectacularly interesting work. Well, my model is just one aspect of something very much broader of how statistical thinking of uh, the design of studies, the analysis of studies, the interpretation of studies, how this can be done in context where <clears throat> uh, things are really quite complicated and disentangling what's really going on is difficult. So my model is just part of that larger and I think uh, more important enterprise. Well, as I said, uh, it, the, the motivation originally was uh, medical, uh, and I suppose in some ways the most interesting applications there have been in connection with uh, the study of uh, heart and other tr transplants, uh, in, in, for example, in the treatment of uh, patients with cystic fibrosis and other serious diseases, uh, <clears throat> where um, the survival of patients is absolutely uh, critical and, and difficult. it's difficult to determine what uh, is really happening. Uh, in other fields, uh, my <clears throat> Uh, it's very similar problems in an engineering context, in the physical sciences, uh, <clears throat> uh, the lengths of time that take place before certain events happen, uh, the study of, of earthquakes, other major events, uh, in economics the study of, uh, let's say, bankruptcies, how long uh, in, a, in a difficult situation <clears throat> uh, elapses before firms become bankrupt, and so on, and so on. And it's the universality of statistical ideas that makes the subject such an interesting, important, and challenging one. <clears throat>